Looking at the speckle filtered image, we can notice that the salt and paper appearance of the image has been reduced. The next step shall be the image calibration, and the purpose for this is to ensure that the pixel values appearing on the image represent the actual backscatter values of the image itself. The reason for this, why it is necessary, is to ensure that when you are working with various images, then the pixel value at any time will represent the backscatter value or that location. This we do by going to Radar, Radiometric, and then Calibrate. In the source product, we put the speckle filtered image. We leave the default target product and the default directory. For the processing parameters, we leave the default and click on Run. Once the calibration process is complete, we can close the processing window and click on the image to display. After the image calibration process, now we shall undertake the multi-looking process. The multi-looking process involves having a number of multiple looks being carried out on a single look image. The purpose of this is not only to improve the image appearance in as far as the speckle is concerned, but also to have regular pixels, pixel sizes for all the image. This we shall undertake by going to Radar, SAR Utilities, Multi-looking. The source product shall be the calibrated image. We shall leave the default name and the default directory. For the parameters, we can leave the default parameters, but altering the number of looks, for example, if we change the looks from 3 to 4, we find that the mean square pixel changes from 13 to 15. Since we know that the Sentinel-1 has an image pixel of about 14 meters, so we shall leave this at the default value of 3. After that, we shall click on the Run. Once the multi-looking process is complete, we can now close the window and display the results. Comparing the results of the multi-look image with that of the previously calibrated image, we notice the difference in the image orientation brought about by the pixel, pixel sizes. Once we are through with the multi-look process, we are now ready to undertake the terrain correction. The terrain correction is a geometric correction which now maps the points on the images onto the ground. This is done by using a digital elevation model which matches the points appearing on the image onto the points appearing on the ground. This we shall do using one of the tools on SNAP and this can be found under radar, geometric, terrain correction, SAS simulation terrain correction. The source product shall be the multi-look results. For the SAS simulation, which creates an, an image of the image on the ground, shall be left at the default values. For the cross correlation, this shall also be left at the default values. For the SAS simulation, we shall change the values of the pixel from 14 to a value of 10. The reason for doing this is because we'll be using the Sentinel images together with the Sentinel 2 images, which shall also be 
at a pixel spacing of 10 meters. The map projections can be selected and then we write the product, we can leave the default name and the default directory. After that, we can click on run. Once the terrain correction process is complete, we can close the window and view the final results. Looking at the world view image, we can already see a change in the orientation of the final product. This product shows that it has already been corrected for the terrain using the DEM, and so now it's an upright image as opposed to a side-looking image. We shall display this image. Once this is finished, what remains now is to convert the, the backscatter values into decibel values. This we do by going to raster, data conversion, linear to from decibels, and we are requested if you would like to convert <clears throat> to a new virtual band, and we say yes. A new virtual band is created, and we shall display this. We notice that the brightness of the new virtual band is greater than the original value. And so for visualization purposes, the decibel image will be used. The next step shall be to convert the virtual band into a band, just like the other bands. And this we do by right clicking and going to convert band. Once it's converted, we can now close the products. You are prompted to save any changes, and since we know we have changed the composition of one of the bands, then we say yes.